Captain's Log, Day 21, Challenge 15. <laughs> I've totally given up. <laughs> My fuzzy slippers. Um, hair is getting a little bushier. Ugh, I'm going to look like Bob Ross when this is all over. Um, so... I had a, one of my assistants actually had asked how she gets her dog to turn right or left if they were going to be rollerblading or if they were going to go on a run. Um, and conveniently, I've always taught all of my dogs in my house a right cue and a left cue. Um, and the reason I've done that, I grew up in a dog sledding family. So our dogs, when they were pulling a dog sled, from back here, you have to tell them turn right, turn left. And the cues that we used on the dog sledding um, in the dog sledding world are G and HA. G is right, haw is left. So you'll be hearing me use those cues for Captain today. Um, I use them in disc dogs with my dog Sadie. Um, if she would lose the disc in the sun, like if she was blinded by it or she couldn't figure out where it went, um, I would be able to call out directionals for her at a distance and it was actually really helpful. Um, for Captain, he's not a disc dog. <laughs> he's really not. Um, but he does go out on a long line when we go walking through our neighborhood sometimes. And I've got some short clips that I can put at the end of this so that way you can kind of see how I can use them. He wasn't very cooperative today. He was more interested in sniffing. But at least it can give you an idea when he's really amped up um, or if we're running. I can call out directionals when he's in front of me. And he can turn left up the next street or right or uh, turn right and sit to get ready to cross if the light is um, is permitting us to cross. So, um, all right, here we go. We're going to start. I'm going to show you how I usually start a dog on right and left, and then I'll show in some clips like how it can be used in city walking, and maybe we can go from there. All right, so, Cat, let's get your breakfast. So the first thing to keep in mind if I'm calling out a directional for a dog, it needs to be from their perspective. So if I'm facing him, it's actually backwards. So I would not say right and throw it to my right. It's his right, um, which would be over to my left, which is really confusing. And if you're a theater kid, good luck, because <laughs> I get still really confused. Um, so I'm going to maybe instead stand facing the same way he is. Whoop, over here, buddy. Sit. And then I can call out G and throw food. G is right for him. Sit. Captain. Paw. Which is left. This way. G. Paw. So I can just get him going to the right, to the left. He still doesn't quite understand what this means yet. Um, but if I were to start walking with him, I can have a treat up his nose. Ready? Let's go. Paw and turn. Let's go. Okay. No treat. Let's go. Paw. Good boy. You can use left. You can call it banana. Ready? This way. Ready? Let's go. Paw. And he doesn't need to stay next to me. He just needs to make the turn because that's all I'm here to teach him. Go left. Go left. Go left. Now I'm going to try to go right. smaller. Yeah, we can both get around that. Leave it. Okay. So we're going to go to the left. This way. Cat. Paw. Sit. Good boy. Ready? G. Nope. Try again. G. Yes. Good boy. 
try to adjust my hands. Touch. Ready? I'm gonna go to my left. Ready? Let's go. Cat okay, hop. 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 Sit. Good boy. So I'm gonna see if I can turn him around. He doesn't have a lot of room. I'm gonna scoot this over. Touch. Sit. Come on in. I know, this is really confusing. Sit. So now I'm gonna try to turn him in a circle right where he's at. So his butt's gonna kinda stay on the ground, but I'm gonna turn him to his right. Ready? This way. G. Yes. Walk up. This way. G. Yes. Good boy. So you can maybe make, um, set up some cones. You could do, um, you can do all sorts of um, walking maneuvers where you're calling out the directionals. And you might even notice that my hand, even if I'm behind him, I go G and my hand flies out um, to my right or ha and it points to the left. That's something I've always done. And he sometimes watches my hand, especially if he's been sniffing and then he looks up after I've said the cue. Um, he'll see which way my hand is going and he'll follow it. Um, but usually in dog sledding and when the dog is way in front of you, they're not looking back. So I'm so conditioned to using a hand signal <laughs> that like I'm throwing hand signals to a dog who's not watching. It's kind of like talking to a person who's deaf. Um, we can still sign, <laughs> but they're not listening to this. Like we might say, yay, which is yay, uh, like applause in sign language. Um, but we still, like if we're in the speaking world, we still use our voice. Um, in dog training, I still always use my hand, even if the dog's not watching. Um, it's so ingrained in me to do that. Um, but it does come in handy when I'm trying to do a tighter turn. Cat this way. Touch. Ready? Cat. Ready? This way. Touch. Ready? G. Yes! Good boy! Sit. So I can make that nice tight turn. And the same for left. I'm going to keep them on the outside this time. Ready? Cat. This way. Hop. Hop. Good job. Sit. Good boy. Catch. So that's right and left. Um, it's the beginning. And I'll see if I can put on like a little video here at the end so that you can kind of see how you can use this application out in the city. Or if you're doing running or anything, doing an activity. Um, an activity that... I don't do because I don't run. All right, see you later. So even here getting ready to cross over to the park, it's over there. So Captain, let's walk up. So we're in the crosswalk, he's with me. And then I'm gonna tell him G because that's our turn for right, Cap G. And then he turns to the right and then we can cross here, Cap cross. And he's actually walking beautifully at my left. I'm gonna tell him to turn left, Cap Haw. Good job. G. Yeah, good boy. Let's walk up here. This is really hard for you to see. I'll do it on a long line. There's a little path up here. Cap haw. So having a directional can be really, really useful. So here it is in practical use. I'm going to go ahead and move him to the left. Captain, haw. Good job. So if he's sniffing and there's something that he could get into trouble with, or if there's, um, if I need to move him in a different direction, I can tell him right or left. And I've put this on all of my dogs, even if they're in the city. Um, Captain will never pull a dog sled. <laughs> Sadie never pulled a dog sled, but it is remarkably useful. Cap G, good boy. So I can move him a little bit to the right. Um, I was still walking straight, so he didn't really feel the need to keep turning right, but he was able to do it. There's a bunch of Robins up here. Whee! I hope it's becoming more spring-like wherever you are. It's been pretty gross and nasty here in Boston the last few days. The rain is not helping everybody's mood since we're all stuck in quarantine anyway. Captain, come. Good boy, sit, catch. All right, let's go. Captain, cross. Captain, ha, good boy. No, oh, you can't just stop in the street, buddy. Come on, Cap, come. 
Good boy.